Jim with Elite Personal Fit. Welcome to Body Shaping. Today our class is going to be a body split and we're going to narrow our focus to legs, back, and some biceps. Um, if you haven't seen these videos before, I'll do this with you in real time. It's just like you're, you're in a class or you've got a workout partner, um, almost like a trainer right there. So we'll go over all the exercises together. It'll be very easy to follow uh, I, I, and I hope is you'll enjoy that. Um, if you have weights, we always encourage you to, to, to include those in your workout. So kettlebells, dumbbells, barbells. Um, you'll, you'll recognize these exercises and I'll mention them too as we go through. Uh, if you don't have weights, hey, no problem. You can use some basic household items. And today the list isn't too long, it's pretty short here. Um, you may want an ab mat, okay, for, uh, we have this ISO bridge where we're gonna, we're gonna lay on the floor, we're gonna bring the hips up high, and then we're gonna do a pullover while you hold that bridge, that big ISO. Okay, so we're holding the bridge up. Uh, so a mat makes that feel a little better, but you don't have to have that. Um, as far as weights, um, you can get by just with some things that simulate dumbbells and kettlebells. Uh, and today, that would be gallon jugs, I find, work pretty well. So I've got a few over here, and, and I would say you may want, depending on your strength, two to six gallon jugs. All right, so uh, you can hold one or two in each hand. So that's gonna be four. Uh, we have an optional broomstick that you can use that you can also um, use like a barbell. So this is just if you want a little more weight. We have an underhand grip bent over row today. And one or two gallon jugs may work great for you. If you want a little more weight, you could get a broomstick and my gosh, you put six, seven gallon jugs on here. And I know it's not super heavy, but it'll challenge you. It just use really good form. We'll talk about that when we get there. But this may come in handy. Um, you could also even use it for curls, um, things of like that, so it simulates that straight bar feel. And they just slide right on. The only thing you have to watch, now this is just a broom, a push broom. We twisted the broom end off. Um, this plastic sleeve that, that is uh, where the broom goes, the handles don't slide past that, but just be aware, you know, there's no collars on the other side. You slide them on, if you tilt, they'll, they'll run off. You don't want that to happen. So I'll set this off to the side. The only other optional item, and again, it's just if you want a little more weight, is going to be a backpack. So again, gallon jugs can do all these exercises. The broomstick and backpack are just if you want a little more weight. So I've got a backpack. I have um, just a couple dumbbells in here, and I've staggered the weight. I'll explain that in a minute. Um, but you could use books, paper. If you have old weights around, um, sometimes like in the corner, you might have some old weight plates and uh, things of that nature, or you know some random kettlebells that maybe don't fit in this routine. Put them in there, or put gallon jugs in there. You know, I think I mentioned books, paper, anything with weight to get that weight up to where it's going to be a, maybe a little more challenging if you need it. All right, so I've got a backpack set up, and again, I have two weights in there, and I'm basically going to use the heavier weight initially, and I'm going to use the backpack. Again, you could just use gallon jugs for one on rows. Okay, so typically the back is fairly strong, so you may want something heavier, thus the backpack. I'm going to use it for curls. We have one and a half reps on our curls. I'm also going to use the backpack for traveling squat, and you don't have to use any weight on the traveling squat. So we're gonna do a traveling squat with a pulse, and I'm just gonna kinda of do a goblet fashion, but it don't have to use weight at all, all right? Uh, also, I'm gonna use it for reverse curls. Okay, so something we really don't do very often, um, it engages a lot of the forms, um, and hits the biceps from a little, little different angle, okay? So you don't need much weight on those. So that's why I've got uh, different weights in there so I can take something out to lighten the load for those and then put it back in for the other exercises. So um, if you wanna do that, you can kind of get a weight that feels good with one arm rows, um, and then you know have multiple weights so that you can take a few one or two weights out or whatever it is, gallon jugs out, and make the weight more appropriate for the burst curl. All right? So those are what we're gonna need for today's routine. I'm gonna throw the circuit up there. As I mentioned, I'll be doing this with you, so it should be very easy to, to follow along, okay? So I'm gonna set the mat out, and we're gonna start with this um, ISO bridge pullover. And I, and I like this, especially on a day like today, uh, 
where I'm at, it's a little cool right now, so we're in that fall season, which is great. Um, but a uh, little cool so we can get that body warm. So the, the ISO bridge is really gonna get that posture chain. You're going to really try to bring those hips up, engaging the, 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 the quadris, not the quads, the glutes and the hamstrings quite a bit. So you're gonna drive up holding that high. And then the pullover is going to really kind of warm up that back a little bit, okay? So I'm just gonna grab a couple gallon jugs. Uh, if you have weights, you could use, you know, dumbbells or a bar, okay? So you could even use your broomstick if you wanted to for this. So I'm gonna lay back and I'll grab these gallon jugs. Make sure whatever weight you're using, if you're using dumbbells or gallon jugs, bring them in tight to the body and then up, okay? So don't, don't go out wide and, and stress those shoulder joints. So I'm going to bridge up and bring those hips high so I can really almost feel that posterior chain. So I'm really trying to bring those hips up so engaging the glutes, trying to tighten the glutes and you'll feel those hamstrings. So I'm here and we're gonna get around 10 to 15 of these. My elbows, the arms are straight but they're just, the elbows are soft and they're going out a little bit, okay? So you're up kind of on your shoulders and that's why this mat feels pretty good. I'm just gonna come over and dry up. And guys, I can feel that posterior chain. And I'm trying to get my lats, my back involved a little bit. And that's kind of a not too fast of a motion. as you come up okay I'll bring the hips down and I'll bring my weights down and just set them off to the side so that I can really feel those glutes engaging you know that lower back everything kind of tightening up in that posterior side so um, we're gonna get up and we're going to do a back lunge and cross toe reach. I like this, it's going to engage the core. It's, it's kind of along those functional lines. So it's, it's like you're, almost like you're bending down to grab something. So it has this functionality to it that I really like to be incorporating some of these workouts. Um, if you have a hard time with balance, Go against the wall or have a chair nearby. Um, listen, chairs sometimes are a little unsteady, so you want to have possibly a wall probably would be better, or a post like I've got, so that when you do this, you can kind of use that as a little bit of a crutch or just to help keep your balance. So what we're going to do is we're going to get around, I guess around 15 of these. So we're going to do a back lunge, and as you come back, we're going to reach kind of across towards the floor or your toe. Okay, so we're putting it that trunk rotation, okay? Here we go. Remember, use the wall if you need it, okay? And it'll be on your front leg side. We're really trying to load that front leg. The back leg shouldn't be doing anything, okay? You just wanna load that front and the back leg is pretty much for balance, all right? So here we go. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna reach across the body and then I'm gonna come up, lightly touch the toe. And I'm back, reach across, two, three, if you can't go very far, it's no problem. If you do your back lunge and, and this is this is your range, that's fine. Just 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 be intentional with that rotation so you're getting that core involved. All right. Three. Four. Should feel that front leg. All right, that was great. That was 15. So now we need to match that on the other side. And uh, 
Here we go. I'm trying to do the outside of the foot. So if you can do that, that's great. Okay, that was 15, and I mean, everyone does a good job. When you're getting down low like that, you're really forcing that front leg to do a lot of that driving up, so really like those. Um, next movement, we're gonna switch to some back work. So I'm gonna grab my backpack. Backpack, in my case, might be a gallon jug in yours, or a dumbbell. And let's get some one-on-one rows. We've got 15 of these. When you're doing these, make sure that you're you're well grounded, and you're gonna pull kind of towards this this hip, okay? And you don't need a lot of this body body moving, okay? Just really be controlled, thinking about the lap. Here we go. From here, driving up one. Trying to squeeze that back two. Really feel it. Ten. Excellent job. All right, let's switch them up. Hey, nice work. So that was our rows. And if you really can get that mind and muscle connection going, you can really fatigue those lats, even with lighter weight. Right? So now we're gonna do curls, one and a half reps. I'm gonna use the same weight that I did one on rows with. So uh, around 10 reps. If the weight feels light, you can go to 15. Okay, so the idea here is we're trying to really load the top phase that is a little more challenging on this bicep curl. Okay, so we're gonna come up come down under control about halfway and then force another contraction before we come all the way down. So the up, half, up is one rep. Here we go. If you're using a backpack, what I'm gonna encourage you to do is reach underneath the shoulder straps so you have more of a soup made hand position. And we're gonna try to kind of maintain palms facing up, okay? Even twisting the pinkies up slightly if you can, all right? So here we go, one and a half. So um, up, half, one, up, two, up, three, four, five, six, Feeling them. Okay, wow, that really challenged me. Really feel those biceps. Whoo, good stuff. And again, you know, if the weight's a little lighter, um, squeeze out maybe a few more reps so you really challenge those biceps. All right, so our next one, we're gonna do a, a traveling squat with the controlled pulse, okay? So I don't, want, I don't want to be kind of ballistic with your movement, but we're gonna squat down 
and we'll get a little pulse, and then we're gonna slide the other way. I don't need you to come all the way up on that movement. So it's squat, pulse, and then we'll just kind of stay somewhat low, shuffle over, squat, pulse. Okay, so just a little shuffle. Uh, guys, a total of 16, so it's gonna be eight on each side, all right? Sometimes it's hard to count eight each way, so if you just count 16 squats, that'll get you, all right? So um, don't have to use weight on this, okay? Legs are typically pretty strong, so you could probably hold a gallon jug in kind of like a goblet position. In my case, I've got a backpack, wrap dumbbells on your shoulder, or you can even hang them, kind of like a potato sack type situation. All right, so guys, here we go. I'll grab this. 16 squats. Also, try not to lean too far forward when you're doing it. So if you're holding weight out in front, um, keep your back nice and straight. Um, just don't let that hinge forward too much. Here we go. Wow, on fire. Great little exercise and that that little pulse at the bottom just <laughs> it's like ice on the kit. Just really makes those muscles like fire up, all right? Good, good stuff. All right, so now we're gonna go underhand, bent over row, okay? And you can use a broomstick for those or your backpack that's loaded. I might just use the backpack today. Underhand position. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab, and I know I did one on rows with these earlier, it's only about 15 really good reps with this. I'm gonna grab down low, turn my palms forward, hinge from my hips. Underhand rows, guys. We have whew, a tough one now. We're gonna get, I don't know, around 10, maybe 15 one leg deadlifts. We do a wide variety of these. Sometimes they're mixing with a lunge, sometimes a lunge from a raise. Um, today, just straight leg deadlift. If you have a hard time with balance, kind of like your lunges on your planted, your foundational leg side, side is doing the work here. Put a wall on that side of you. That'll help with your balance. Don't need weight on this one, but if you want weight, you can put in one or both hands, okay? So if you have, if you struggle with balance a little bit, but you wanna use a little weight, you can go opposite side of the foot that's planted, and your other hand is free to use that wall, okay? You can still use the wall of hands with weights in both hands, just you might have to bump that wall if you have a hard time with balance, okay? So here we go, let's get 10 to 15 of these. We're gonna try to keep the body square. Don't, don't let the body turn. So we're trying to keep the hips square, shoulders square, and I'm gonna come down. And the knee, this is hard for people. Try not to lock that joint. So the leg is gonna be straight, but just slightly soft, okay? So I don't wanna put any extra stress on that knee. So. I'm gonna come down, 
and I come forward. If you can float it, that's great. So I'm gonna float it here. If you need to touch down, it's no problem. Seven. I'm really feeling them. This is great. Just eight. I'll lightly touch. Nine. They will go ten here. Again, you can do more, but I'm really, really feeling that. It's going to hit that posterior chain, kind of like what we started with with those ISO bridges. You're getting that hamstring, glute, lower back. Here we go. Let's hit the other side. 10 reps. Here we go. It's amazing, just gallon jugs, really light them up. So I'll set these down. I'm gonna lighten my backpack, reverse curls for next. So a lot of form work, which um, we don't typically do reverse curls. So I thought I'd throw it in there today for a little mix. So I'm gonna take a little weight out of here. Set it there for now. And now I'm gonna grab right up the top. So, um, guys, straight bars are a little tougher on these. It's a little hard on the wrist. So, if you have a curl bar that's angled, you can angle those hands up a little bit. It takes a little pressure off that wrist. I'm not saying you can't use a straight bar, but curl bar might be a little better. Or dumbbells. So, your hands will be angled just a little bit. Okay. So, I'm going to grab this backpack. I'm here. And about 15 of these. Okay. So, just really good form. Keep those elbows at your side. One. Uh, let me reload the backpack. So I'm going to put my weight back in here. Man. So that, that was one round. Okay, so pretty good little workout. Um, I'm definitely feeling the glutes, the legs, uh, the back, biceps are, you know, they felt good with those curls and even the reverse curls at the end. So let's go back. I'll put the mat back out. We'll go back to the top of this circuit. Nice little bridge pullover. Quick step here. And position and I might even bring my head just off the mat here okay here we go I'm gonna bridge up nice and high and that head off the mat that gives you just a little break uh, feels pretty good so um, here we go oh, I really feel those 
those hips high. Squeeze the back at the top. Okay, put this mat up. We've got our lunge. Kind of cross toe reach here. Okay, so we'll try to keep rest to a minimum here. 15, really gonna feel the leg. Remember, if you need a little help with balance, get, get kind of close to the wall with your planted leg side. Here we go. Four. Oh, okay. All right. Let's switch them up. Feeling those. Okay, we're moving on. One arm rows. I'll grab kind of low on the shoulder straps. And here we go, pulling towards the hip. rows. Now, bicep curls. Remember, one and a half. These are tough. All right. Reach under the shoulder straps here. And here we go. These are soft. I'm going to lean slightly far so the backpack doesn't sway too much.
just a second here. We've got our traveling squat. And I know the biceps will beat up, so if you're holding the weight, just make sure, keep it in tight to the body. Like goblet. Try to keep those arms relaxed. We have 16 squat pulse. Here we go. Start off to the side here a little bit. All right. Don't lean forward excessively. Here we go. Wow, they really blew up the legs. Man, oh man. Catch your breath for just a second here. Those are, those are tough. All right, under hand bent over row. All right, again, you could string jugs on a broomstick. Okay, I have this weight in the backpack. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to add this here more for this set. So, not much, just maybe another gallon jug in here. All right, and then we'll be about 15 underhand bent over rows. Whew, watch your back here. I know it's getting a little tired and fatigued. Don't lose form. Keep it straight, all right? Here we go. forward. Okay, bent over rows are done. And now while I'm here, I think what I'll do is get this set up for my reverse curls. So, I've taken out some weight, and now I have a reverse curl weight in there. But before we get there, we have straight leg deadlifts. Woo! All right, 10 each side. And remember, you don't need weight on this one, okay? Set this down for just a second. <laughs> Shake that out, really feel that glute working. Whew. All right. I will switch legs here.
that posterior chain is really tired. Erectors, glutes, hamstrings, reverse curls. About 15 of these. Here we go, overhand grip. set this down. Hey, that was two rounds. That's what we wanted to accomplish today. So two rounds and man, I hope you had a great workout. Feeling those legs, that back, the lats, even the erectors, the lower back, that posterior chain, some biceps. Wow, I mean, I know I feel it. So thanks for watching. This is Elite Fitness, bringing wellness to you.